hurt one of you. To break out the dust clock once in a while, huh? Take a gander at this office. It's disgrace. It's so dusty, I can barely stand it. What do you take me for, huh? The chinchilla? <laughs> do I have to do everything around here, huh? I make the plans. I steal the gold. I even brought you boys what? The, the croquet set. What's that? What? Oh, look, I know. There ain't no lawn to play on. It's not my fault, right? I dearly love to break at the old golf clubs, but this whole town is one big sand trap. But wait, you hear me crying at night like a baby? No! How's about you people start showing some gratitude around here, right? And doing a little dusting. <sighs> I tell you, is that too much to ask from you? And another thing. No more whistling. Thanks to the bug in Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. We're going to have to hit that train while it's rolling. But first, we're going to have to catch it. And we'll do that by diverting its route. After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key track switches we will need to throw. And Toothpick has entrusted the keys to three of his toughest henchmen. Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these guys keep the keys around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wild Man is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast, because you're going to be competing in the crookedest race in the West, the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the trophy close by, with the third key inside. Now let's get going, we don't have any time to waste.
May he rest in peace. And in this corner, need no real introduction, weighing in a little more every minute, your howling hard, the Coyote! Because, you know... Don't say it! That's how I roll. I feel like I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Fly. You better get moving. <laughs> better keep an eye out for that jackalope. Hurry up! The clock is ticking! That's it, Fly! Keep pushing! 
I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Mike. You better get moving. Time to show these folks some real speed. Well, My time is running out. Come on, Sly. Get your back into it. You can't slow down now. Why do I feel like I'm back in prison? This definitely reminds me why I prefer picking pockets. We're in a time crunch here, Sly! Just keep the ball spinning, Sly. You better get off the ball, Sly! <laughs> Legs feel like spaghetti. Almost there, Sly. Don't stop now. This is the craziest race I've ever seen. <laughs> so close, I can smell that finish line. can't be here to shoot, cause there ain't even no man around these parts can stand up to me. I see what you mean. I can barely stand you myself. But if you're scared of losing, I understand. <laughs> well, I just won the competition, so you're too late. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You just go right ahead, sweet thing. If you can beat my score, you get this here trophy. But if you lose... You gotta give me a kiss. What do you say? Aye. This guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carmelita, we don't have a choice. All right. I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> Big jerk how to shoot. It actually helps if I keep your slice face on the targets. This guy's in for an unpleasant surprise. The only thing this group will be kissing is that trophy. Goodbye. How to do this left-handed? I have to keep my focus. Don't call me Top Shot at Interpol for nothing. What the? This ain't happening. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carmelita. Now grab that key. Now, boys, I know I've aired out my lungs at you all about this already. 
But some of you ain't uh, heard it rightly, cause your lingo is uh, still stale as mantel cornbread. Shoot, the ways you talk now, it worked a plug nickel. Ah, it sticks in my craw. Ouch, like I swallowed a horny toad backwards. Ooh, that must hurt. We're in what? The old west now, people, huh? Look tough, look like cowboy. We got the appearances to keep up. Now. Okay, eyes front, everyone. The clock is ticking on this one, so we don't have time to monkey around. Toothpick's gold train is already rolling, and with the incorporation of our van, it's virtually impossible to stop. Thankfully, Tennessee was able to divert the train's route, which gives us the chance we need to catch it. First, Murray, you're going to get the van back. It's positioned near the rear of the train, acting not unlike a booster rocket. It's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards, and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train, where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly and Tennessee, you're up next. To ensure we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. Tennessee, you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way, but your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing, don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're gonna be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now let's move out!
using some explosives to break those locks. Don't worry, Bentley. No way I'm letting these guys get away with my van. Besides, I left a sandwich in there.
have those whistles rigged in a jiffy. Commencing hack. Why 
This here robbery is going to be one for the record books. I wanted to let you all know that you will be getting a bonus. Yep, with it is all over. I'm going to buy everybody new books. That's nice, right? Unless something happens to my goal. Ooh. Then I'm going to take everybody's books instead. And, well, who wants to? Here with all these goodies and no good. Faster, Murray! You got it, chum! Self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff. Oh, blast you, Tennessee Kid Cooper! I'm gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole, and I'm going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung, and you are done! Oh, am I? Hey. My gun! No! <laughs> Thanks, Kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, kitchen! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. It's all over, Cooper! Break out the tail bird! 
where coffee fly? Watch those lasers fly! Why does everyone use lasers? Oh, is that the best you've got? Come on, Toothpick! I'm Let's right see here! You like my bang, bang, boom, this guy is... Yo, oh, that hurts my ears! Who turned on the blasted whistle? Don't let him hit you, Sly! Boom, no way to jump these twisters. I'll have to avoid them. He's gone, Sly! Why, you stinking sword off! Get your glasses. I need to focus.
looks like this here's our stop. Wait, we got a real problem. I think I just took care of that, Bentley. No, fly the train. It's headed for a broken bridge. I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan. Fly, you have to get off that train. Jump to the van. Murray, hit the brakes! They're not working! And I can't shut down the rockets! What? You idiots! You call this a plan? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this! What in our nation are they doing? And I was just wondering where that golden got to. Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work! Hey, that's my necklace! Here goes nothing! As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when?